tell me about um, if if Donald Trump does not win. What do you What do you do? I hope that I'm going to die. <laughs> you want to die if Donald Trump doesn't yeah, win. I do. I don't want to live like this anymore. You like our country the way it is now? It's hard for me to give credit to a, a person of, um, like Obama for, for all the reasons that, that I think are true about him that, that is not in the mainstream media. Like what? Um, well, uh, him and his favorite beau, uh, Michael. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant that Michelle. Uh, and I could go on. Uh, there's, there's no sense in going further than that. All right. I mean, his wife? I mean, the person that he, he co-optates with, yes. The, the mother of, of his, his two daughters? Okay, say what you want, but I don't believe that for an instant either. I don't believe that, the, that Michael had any children. Michael who? <laughs> One that you call Michelle Obama. That's his wife. They were... Okay, okay. all right. I think we can suspend this conversation because I don't agree. I, uh, you don't agree with that's his wife? I, I agree that's his mate. No, I think they've been after him so long that all of this is just a witch hunt like he described it. I don't think there's anything Trump's done wrong. I think that the desperate opposition is just after him. I mean, they started out, you know, and they've been after him eight different ways, and they're going to keep after him until they can get him in jail, I think. People can't see beyond this politicalization of the Justice Department. Then they... they, they I would say they suffer from Trump derangement syndrome. There are people that think that you suffer from <laughs> Yeah, but they don't have an argument. They just don't like Trump. If, if Trump were to lose for the second time, what would you think the reset would have to be for Republicans? I would say things would get so bad it'll be uh, almost in a communist type of zone to where we may not even be able to farm anymore. What are people not talking about that they should? They're not talking about our worldview. Everybody's laughing at America because we have the weakest president we've ever had in the history. He likes everybody but America. He, well, because he's crooked, he's gotten a lot of money, millions over the years with his son Hunter. But the thing that is, Russia, China, everybody's laughing because we have no strength. We are not the America of 10 years ago. Would you ever date a Democrat? Hell no. How come? Uh, what if she was just the greatest girl, the kindest, nicest, beautiful, uh, you, know, want, uh, you know, had the same sort of social values as you, but she voted for Democrat? Maybe date her, but I couldn't marry and live with her. It's too much. <laughs> what does woke mean? Woke means, to me, it's like, it's like policies in, in the schools and companies that are forcing people, basically to just go along with the tide. When people are, a lot of people don't even want it, but they're just doing it because they don't want to fight. So like LGBTQ rights, is that forcing people well, no, to? Not, not rights, I mean, like I said, everybody should have rights, but like, I've, it's really being forced upon children in schools, like the things that are being taught to them, like they're having, like, parents don't have rights any, like they're, the rights of parents are being diminished and the rights of the government and the school system are being expanded. And so our kids are in danger. I mean, kids are getting mutilated and making choices. Like, would you let, if you had like a 10 year old kid, would you let them get a tattoo? Would you be like, yeah, you think you should get a tattoo? Yeah, sure, get a tattoo on, on both arms. No, you wouldn't do that. But we're, we're letting kids decide at, at like young teens and young, like 12 year olds that ch change your life forever, cut off your your body parts. The gender reassignment, that's what's Yeah, just all those things. Like, those things should not be encouraged in case. But I don't think she'd pass the physical to be a man, or to be a woman, I'm sorry, be a woman. What gives you that thought? I have lots of reason to believe that. Do you think Melania Trump is a man? No. Why, why, why would you think Michelle Obama's a man? Um, I'm genuinely curious. Well, do a little research. Just do a little research. But that's that's like out there. What's out there is is the fact that uh, her walking out in a skirt and there's an obvious bulge where there shouldn't be one, and it's it's not contained. Uh, dancing on the stage with uh, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, there's an obvious disparity in, in um, her gender. It, they they went after Richard Nixon. They went after Bill Clinton. And now the courts in several different states are finding different things about Trump. Is there anything that could happen with him indictment-wise 
that would say, all right, maybe this disqualifies him for president? Not for me. I'm with him to the finish. All right, thank he you could, so much. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with him. <laughs> Explain that to me. That's amazing. I mean, it's, look, uh, he's the only man we've ever had in my lifetime that stood for America as president. Now, I was a George Herbert Walker Bush man and all that, but they don't anybody compare to Donald Trump. He loves this country, and that's why I love him. But I'm, I'm going to push back a little bit because, and, and you're, I'm guessing, a couple of months older than me. But I'm going to say that, you know, looking back at some presidents like Eisenhower, like LBJ, uh, like Gerald Ford, like, um, you know, Reagan, Bush, who you mentioned, yeah. what, what about them didn't stand for America in the same way that Trump does? You know, uh, I think it's got to do with the times we're living in. We're, America's being assaulted. Open borders, uh, you know all the issues, we all know the issues. And nobody stood under the attack that Trump stood under. And look what he's done, he's hanging in there. He's for us, he loves this country, and I'm going to support him to the end. I hope he wins, we need him. Last question for you, because then you got to go in. Um, what would he have done differently than President Biden that would have made you think that, it, that he would have been a better president? President Biden, um, you know, Biden to me, if he had not been a career politician, he might have been better, but he's lived in Washington all his life. I think we need term limits. I think we need to stop all these old people from running Washington, D.C. It's corrupt. Well, the old people, I mean, Trump isn't, there's not a huge difference in age. Yeah, I, I should rephrase that. The old people that's been in Washington all their life. If you, if you said, look, here's. Say, say one nice thing about Joe Biden to me. I can't. All right, so you just don't like Biden. Oh, because I, I've looked at Biden when he was, he's, he's just totally corrupt. How can you look beyond the corruption to say that this man could be a statesman for representing the United States? You know, the whole issue of his getting the mil millions of dollars with, with, with uh, Hunter Biden, the media didn't cover that at all. Why? Why didn't they cover that? We may have to sell our land before, you know, it's completely controlled with all the regulations. He cut regulations. Everything. I couldn't name one thing that's positive of Biden. And this is why we're in a mess. And, but I think one of the worst things, you know, with agriculture and my business and everything else, when they opened up that border, you know. When you say they opened it up, what do you mean? Well, we had it shut down. Trump had it regulated, and he was screening them. And now we're going to have bad stuff go on. They're, they're infiltrating the country, feeding everybody for free, you see. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. Like he says, they got to come in legally. Not illegally. You get in illegally, you know, you're going to have a mess. And I'm afraid it could be, that's why we have so much crime. And I can see where things could get bad down the road. If we don't get Trump back this next time, it's really going to get bad. It's scary. So we were, we were stronger when President Obama was in office? No. We, that was 10 years ago. No, yeah. Obama started this whole mess and started dividing us. When Trump came in, he started getting us back to our roots, back to loving America, back to helping get rid of the regulations so we could be more energy efficient. Now, look at we're buying our oil from where? A foreign country when we have enough here in this country to take care of us plus many. Well, we've always bought our oil from other countries. No, but we could produce more here. He's hurting big businesses. Look at what's going on. You've got big businesses that are going out of business. Did you hear about the um, the drug? Uh, not not CVS, but one of them. They're, Rite Aid. They're going out of business. They're, they're closing over a hundred stores. That has nothing to do with being able to get stuff online and from Amazon. No. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I think, but you've got a pretty good life. You got, you got nice clothes on, you got hat on, sunglasses, you got your health. I mean, the country's done pretty well by you, right? No, the country hasn't done anything by me. I, I've done everything for myself. My husband and I took care of ourselves as we grew older. Now, 
when we when we got ready to retire, we took we had planned what we were going to do. Now, what is what is the country doing for me now? Do I get any interest on anything that I put away and saved? Well, your money is safe, right? I wouldn't say that. You got access to health care. I have access to health care because my husband served 20 years in the military. So the military did something for your family. The military is trustworthy, right? I mean, the military health care system is great. No, I wouldn't say it's great. We were promised free health care for our whole life, but that did not happen. What is it that is so bad about where America is or where you are right now with America that you would want to die if Donald Trump doesn't win? I just don't want to live in a country that is as screwed up as this one, that people are so out of control and, and that they think that everything, that, that they're entitled to everything. What, what, what do you think about the stealing that's going on right now? What that do you mean stealing? Walk, people walk into stores and just can walk out with stuff. Well, crime is a problem, but there's also a lot of places where people but have crime to... crime is increasing every day. Actually, the data shows it's not. Well, I don't care what the data shows. I, I, you and I can't talk to each other because you have a totally different idea of of what's going on than what I have. So what do you trust? I trust Donald Trump. I trust Donald Trump and what really upsets me the most is everybody remembers that one little blip that he that they that Billy Bush put out there when he first started to run. About grabbing the Yeah. Yeah. That's the I mean that was that was pretty memorable. Well, why is that memorable? Why isn't it memorable the things that he did do? Well, he's been indicted in four different cases and 91 criminal None charges. Of that stuff is true. You know it's not. I don't know whether it's true or not. I just know that. No, I just know that a pro. No, I'm just a journalist who sees that he's been in. I mean, so how do you explain? How do you explain all these charges? How do you explain all? What's well, going they're on? all made up. They're all made up. Yep. They're all made up. So the election interference in Georgia, Sidney Powell and and Kenneth Cheesebro, who worked for Donald Trump. As lawyers, believe, they believe. just pled guilty and admitted. I don't believe that either. You don't believe they pled guilty? Nope. nope. So no. when they said that they I were. I never turn on the news. I never turn on the TV. I never listen to any of that. So where do you get your information if you don't watch the news? I get my information from Telegram. From Telegram? Mm -hmm. Are there any liberal or progressive voices on Telegram? I don't have any idea. There are not. Is it important to hear from people who have a different point of view than you? Uh, you know, I'd like to sit down with a liberal someday and have them tell me what it is that they think is so great about what's going on right now. But they won't talk to you about it. Well, what, do you, what, what particular issue would you like to talk about? I don't know. What, what do you think is so great about what's going on right now? I think what's so great is that people who are in the United States now have more opportunities than anywhere else around the world. When's the last time you paid for a loaf of bread? I just went to the store the other day, and I was glad to see that inflation is down. <laughs> oh, no, no. We, we, can't, we can't talk anymore. Well, Unemployment is down. My 401k is doing great. Your 401k is doing great. The markets are awesome. No. I can't, I can't even. Well, see, that's why I can't talk to a liberal. Well, if we can't talk to each other, what are we going to do? She wants to die. She wants to die. 